Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I hope you're well. Sorry for the little bit of the delay today. But just as I started doing the video earlier, the lawn mowers came and, uh, and it was such a big commotion, I thought it would be best to postpone for a little while. But I wanted to show you some happy mail that I got in the mail yesterday. And in here is this little envelope. And a friend of mine who watched my video on how to make the little portfolio went ahead and made one just for me and sent it to me. And I just love it. I love these neutral colors. She's used the, um, I think this is the gray granite background. And she's got the prize peony stamp on here with this lovely sentiment. It says all the things you do are simply amazing. So thank you, Abby, that's very sweet. I'm glad you're inspired. And on the inside, I can open this up. She's added a piece of the Ghirardelli salt, sea salt caramel, which I love, and some constant contact, comment tea. So I just thought this was such a fun way to let somebody know that, that you're thinking of them and to give them a little extra treat in their day. And she writes, you are always an inspiration. Love, Abby. Thank you so much, Abby. I really love this and it's so pretty. I hardly want to take it apart to uh, enjoy the treat, but I will do that later. So for today, I wanted to show you these beautiful berries. So on the 4th of July at our barbecue, we also had a lovely dessert of fresh berries that we picked. And in it were some of these champagne currants, which are so beautiful. Let me see if I can give you a close up of that. Look how, look how gorgeous those are. They're, they're translucent. You can actually see the seeds through the skin, and they're so pretty. And then I also have these little black raspberries. These are, these are wild. Okay, and we had in our berry medley, we also had some mulberries, and um, those were red mulberries, and some black currants and some red raspberries. But I had some of these um, currants and, and blackberries left over and I thought how fun would it be to paint a little design using these as the inspiration. So if you're just getting started with watercolor, you don't need a lot to begin. Okay, I have a pack here of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And I have my water painters. These are, these are brushes that have the reservoir in the handle, so you don't even need extra water. You just fill up the handle and you're ready to paint. And I like to use these spritzers. So they come two to a pack and they look like this. And they're just little spray bottles. And I also have some inks here. So, so this is a it's yellow, red, and blue. And you can use any yellow, red, and blue that you like. The ones I happen to have here are Daffodil Delight, Cherry Car Cobbler, and Knight of Navy. Okay, and then I also have, let's see if I can get all these things on the screen here. I have, I have a damp sponge handy. This is just a kitchen sponge. 
I've got a couple of water containers off to the side, and I also have a roll of, of paper towels, and I'll just pull off a sheet. And that's pretty much all you need to get started. Now I do have a mini palette here. And this is just a, a little palette that has six wells in it that can hold the inks for you. So let me get set up here and I'll show you what I do to get started. I take out a piece of paper and I'm going to be using this to decorate a card with so I'm going to take my watercolor paper and I'm just going to cut it in half and it measures seven inches so I'm going to cut it at three and a half so I have two equal pieces And in the watercolor brushes, these water painters, you have three different brushes, a small, a medium, and then you have a wide brush. I'm just going to use the medium one to get started. And I think what I'll do is I'll create a decorative border. So before I before I begin painting, I'm going to go ahead and stamp a sentiment. And I'm using the Create with Friends, and I'm just going to be using this one stamp here that says Create. I'll mount that up and I'm using the rich razzleberry ink and I'm just going to put this right in the center there we go so there's my message and now using Using my berries as inspiration, I'm just going to put a quick border around here. So let's see if I, if I mix up some yellow. With the blue, that should give me a nice green. So here's a little bit of blue. A little bit of yellow, and I'm just going to make these leaf shapes. So here's here's my leaf that I'm looking at for inspiration. Okay, and I'll just put a few of those around the edges. So there's one. There's two. And I'm just, I'm using these water-based inks just as I would any watercolor paint, just by adding as much water as I need to make it as light or as dark as I like. Very easy. And I think I'll give these some stems. Okay. 
and keep going around. Okay, so there are my leaves started. And now I'm just going to mix up a pale, sort of a pinkish, yellow for these champagne currants and on, and the way the way they are formed they're on these little clusters almost like tiny little grapes And they've got shiny little highlights on them, so I'll leave a space for the highlights. There we go, very easy. I don't know if you can hear the birds outside, but there are just so many this year. There is a, I was out working in the vegetable garden and I noticed that there was a robin sitting on her nest in the grape arbor over my compost pile. So I didn't dare go into that area of the uh, garden. I didn't want to disturb her. But, you know, I think the reason or part of the reason why I've got so many birds now is because of all the, the berries that I plant. So um, if you'd like to attract more wildlife to your, to your garden, plant a mulberry tree. The robins just love it. And you will have beautiful bird song serenading you throughout the summer. All right, so that's coming along. I'll put a couple of clusters on the top here and we're, we're just about done. So in just a few minutes, you can have a really pretty little custom border for your card and have a lot of fun doing it.
Okay, so there is the, I'll zoom you in a little so you can get a better look at that. There are the champagne currants. Now I want to add a few of these beautiful blackberries for accents. So for those, I'm just going to mix my red and my blue together and get a nice rich violet. And of course the, the, the blackberries have um, all those little knobs on them. So I'm just gonna indicate the shape and the texture. go. So basically it's just a it's just a series of little circular shapes. And if you're interested in learning more about watercolor, please go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and sign up for my newsletter notes from Dandelion Cottage and I will be able to send you announcements for all of my upcoming watercolor card classes, beginning watercolor, and, uh, and other things that I have coming right up. So please do that. Add a couple up here. Okay, what do you think? A very simple little decorative border using these berries. I'm just adding a little more. There we go. I'm going to add a little more accent to some of these very dark ones. There we go. That's better. So there is my panel for the card. And then to go ahead and make the card, nothing could be easier. So I have a card base here, and this is the very vanilla thick card stock. And this coordinates very nicely with the watercolor paper. So let's see how that looks. So there it is, plain. Let's see how it looks with a little bit of a border. Here is the rich Razzleberry card stock. 
and that's okay. But I also have the Blackberry Bliss, and I think that's going to work better for this one. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this down. So here's my trimmer. And I want this to be a very thin border because the um, I just want a, a, a fine maybe an eighth of an inch so I'm going to cut this at three and three quarters we'll see how that looks perfect okay and so I'm going to then cut this at oops get my ruler going the right way five and a quarter There we go. So I'll mount that on there. Okay, and once you get that where you want it, you can go ahead and give it a burnish. And just glue that up. And there is your note card with the beautiful border. So it only took a few minutes and I used the inspiration from the garden and I want to urge you to go outside and go to the park or your yard or wherever and see if you can't find something out there that would make a nice background for a note card like this. Here's our little specimens. And there you have it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I've given you some ideas on how you can make some beautiful miniature pieces of art to share with your friends and family and brighten their day. I hope you'll stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time.